a warning from the CDC claiming that the Zika virus may hit America harder than originally thought. Come on in, Dr. Manny Alvarez, Fox News Medical A team. Now, okay, we got the warning. We understand that it's coming, it's going to hurt. How do I take any kind of precaution against that? Well, a couple of things. Two things that we have learned. Uh, the mosquitoes are uh, now in 30 states in the U.S. So it's not only the, the southern states anymore. It's everywhere. Uh, number two that we have learned uh, over the last month or so that the Zika virus itself is just not the microcephaly that is affecting pregnant women. It also has an adult neurological components. So now we're looking at diseases like MS, like disease. Uh, we're looking at Guillain-Barre, which is an inflammation of your nerves. In other words, this virus, which has been around for a long, long time, now the scientists are not only worried about, about the spread that we're going to see in America, but also about the, the effects that it could cause not only to pregnant women, but to adults. And I'm going to say something, we're late to the game one more time. You know, this epidemic, if you will, or endemic uh, th that happens in Brazil, all that data was held back by the Brazilians and it was not shared on mm. time. So now we're playing catch up. Of course, Congress is saying, let's put $1.9 million billion dollars in order to kind of, you know, get the vaccines going, some, you know, infection control <laughs> platforms. But again, we're dumping money. Had we started a year and a half ago, I think w we would have been in a better place. All right, Dr. Manny, we hear you. Thank you very much indeed. Hold on, I've got one more for you. This right. is, uh, to me, this is really fascinating. Yeah. Scientists at Northwestern University say they've developed functional ovaries that can be produced from 3D printing. Now that's a breakthrough. Surely that's a huge breakthrough for people having trouble, women getting... Yeah, I mean, look, this is an animal study. 3D printing is being used in different aspects of medicine. What they're doing is using 3D, uh, 3D printing technology. They, you create a matrix, like a gelatin matrix, and doctors are now putting the eggs in that matrix. They're putting the, the cells that made the hormones. They're implanting that in animals, and now they're seeing that those ovaries, those 3D ovaries, are, are indeed working, and they have created some uh, offsprings of the animals. So, so the science and the technology are working very nicely together. Hopefully this will be a technology that in a few years from now is going to be available to women that have no ovarian function. And it would help women with well, no it, ovarian it, it, function. It's, it's, you it's huge. You know, you have people that get, you know, cancer treatments, their ovaries are destroyed. You have also, you know, things that happen uh, <laughs> that, that make the ovary prematurely age. So now you can take this technology and indeed create something in the future. So 3D is really a big part of the healthcare industry. Just fascinating. Who would have thought? Good stuff. Dr. Manny, thank you. Good <laughs> thank stuff you guys. indeed, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Now,